Can't these couples just accept that they love each other? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best friends who fall in love in movies. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at films featuring friends who eventually realize their true feelings for each other. Because these relationships often form the backbone of the movie's plots, there are sure to be some spoilers. So you've been warned. Have you ever been with a girl, Forrest? I sit next to them in my home economics class all the time. Number 10. Chris Brander and Jamie Palomino. Just friends. Stupid! 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 What the hell? Even Ryan Reynolds has trouble escaping the friend zone. As former high school nerd turned successful music producer Chris Brander, Reynolds gets a second chance to confess his true feelings to his old high school crush Jamie during a trip to his old hometown. Chris, hi! Hi. <laughs> While the movie mostly adheres to rom-com cliches, the chemistry between Reynolds and co-star Amy Smart, as well as a hilarious performance by Anna Faris as unhinged pop star Samantha James, make this an enjoyable ride that'll leave you feeling all warm and fuzzy. Sorry. Number 9. Zach Brown and Miriam Miri Linky. Zach and Miri make a porno. Yeah. Start kissing on three, okay? okay? One, two, three. As always, Kevin Smith gives us a story of romance blooming in the most unlikely of places. The writer and director offers his signature blend of gross out laughs and heartwarming moments in this sex comedy about the two titular roommates. Played by Seth Rogen and Elizabeth Banks, respectively, they decide to make pornographic movies in order to pay the bills. You got an idea? We can make a porno. While Zack and Miri try to keep things platonic, they eventually start falling for each other in between takes, which obviously becomes complicated given their chosen profession. I am not your girlfriend. Oh, I know that. And you're not my boyfriend. Don't be fooled by the title. This one's a corny romance through and through. Why are you crying? Because <laughs> I missed you so much. <laughs> Number 8. Troy Dyer and Lelaine Pierce. Reality Bites. Baby, I love you way every day. Underneath all that flannel is plenty of heart. In Ben Stiller's directorial debut, Winona Ryder and Ethan Hawke play two disenfranchised Gen Xers who find comfort in the fact that they both have uncertain futures. They're clearly attracted to each other, but Troy's aimlessness conflicts with Lelaine's ambitions of becoming a documentary filmmaker. Then there's the fact that Lelena is already dating a TV executive. Because the world doesn't owe you any favors, and whether you know it or not, you're on the inside track to Loserville, USA. A quintessential 90s soundtrack serves as the background music, as Lelena and Troy slowly realize that they belong together, at least for the time being. I just wanted to see if you were okay. Number 7. Patrizio Pat Solitano and Tiffany Maxwell. Silver Linings Playbook. You would have never done something like this in a million years. These two aren't crazy, but they're crazy for each other. Both Pat and Tiffany, played by Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence, are dealing with traumatic events from their past. Pat is trying to reconcile with his ex-wife after a violent outburst he had when he discovered she was having an affair. And Tiffany is fighting depression after the recent death of her husband. When a dancing competition brings the two wounded souls together, both figuratively and literally, a romantic relationship begins to blossom. And despite their respective hang-ups, they manage to move on from the past together. You love me? Yeah, I do. Number 6. Polly Bleeker and Juno McGuff. Juno. I'm pregnant. Romance may not be the focus of this quirky film, but it still holds an unconventional love story. After a brief dalliance with her friend Polly, the precocious, and now very pregnant Juno brushes off the notion that the two are dating, despite the fact that Polly is the father of her unborn child. I should be royally ticked off at you, you know, I should be really cheesed off, I shouldn't want to talk to you anymore. However, as the plot progresses, Juno realizes that besides her parents, Polly is the one person who has constantly supported her. So she decides to confess her feelings like any normal 16-year-old would, by stuffing Polly's mailbox full of orange Tic Tacs. We'll take that over a love letter any day. You know, they're your fave, and uh, I mean, you can never have too many of your favorite one calorie breath mints, so. Number 5. William Matthew Will Hayes and April Hoffman. Definitely maybe. You're the toilet paper guy. More like definitely eventually. In a twist on the typical rom com formula, this film plays out as a mystery. 
Recent divorcee Will, played by Ryan Reynolds, tells his daughter Maya the story of the three women he's been with over the years, leaving clues as to which one eventually becomes the girl's mother. However, thanks to his daughter, Will realizes that his true love isn't his ex-wife, but his friend and one-time co-worker April. I'm in love with you, April. While it takes several years, a broken marriage, and a lot of heartache, Will and April finally become a couple, all with the help of a very perceptive little girl. April? Number 4. Forrest Gump and Jenny Curran – Forrest Gump Run, Forrest, run! Run, Forrest! You can run all you want, Forrest, but you can't outrun love. Robert Zemeckis' epic and crowd-pleasing film spans several decades and portrays many important historical events, but at the heart of the story is the unconditional love Forrest has for his childhood friend Jenny. Will you marry me? It takes Jenny a while to reciprocate those feelings, but thanks to Forrest's relentlessly positive attitude, she eventually sees that she loves him too. While their reunion and marriage is painfully brief and tinged with tragedy, it's still just as sweet as a box of chocolates. I'll take care of you if you're sick. Would you marry me, Forrest? Number 3. Matt, Maddie Flamhaff and Jenna Rank 13 going on 30. You're not Chinese. It took a bit of wishing dust to get these friends to see they were made for each other. In 1987, 13-year-old Jenna, after being tricked into seven minutes in heaven with her geeky best friend Matt, brushes him off and wishes she were 30. Jenna's wish is granted, but to her dismay, she has grown into an adult with pretty questionable morals. Are you high? You've been smoking pot, doing X, Falling into a K-hole? You doing drugs? What's more, she realizes she has feelings for the man Matt has grown into, but he's engaged to another woman. Luckily, her realization sends her back to 1987, and in her newfound maturity, she kisses Matt, allowing the two to start a new, better life with each other. <sighs> wow, you really know what you're doing. Number two, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, Harry Potter franchise. You complete Oswald Weasley. Even though fans saw this relationship coming from a mile away, it didn't make its inevitable conclusion any less satisfying. In the earlier films, Ron and Hermione have a friendly but combative relationship and spend a lot of time arguing with each other. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. As the story progresses, though, and the two mature, it becomes clear that there's more than friendship behind their passionate feelings for one another. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort! Through all the adventures they share over the next few years, their feelings become more obvious until they finally kiss near the end of The Deathly Hallows Part 2. Too bad that pesky Battle of Hogwarts was happening at the same time. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. What will you do differently? Nothing. Hello. I want my best friend back because I'm in love with her. It's under one condition. Anything. Kiss me. In public, in front of all these people. I did not ask you to. Number one, Harry Burns and Sally Albright. When Harry met Sally. Men and women can't be friends because the sex part always gets in the way. Can men and women just be friends? Definitely not this classic rom-com couple who, despite their natural chemistry and the fact that they keep entering each other's lives, take years to realize that they're meant to be together. Can I say something? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Both Billy Crystal's Harry and Meg Ryan's Sally are flawed but lovable characters, with plenty of memorable quirks. It's these quirks that keep them together through thick and thin. And even though they hit a few speed bumps along the way, they still can't stay away from each other, leading to one of the most memorable and romantic scenes in film history. Now that's what we call a New Year's resolution. I really hate you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.